In this video, we will see the scroll compressor with vapor injection and economizer. 1. Scroll compressors with vapor injection are designed with an independent connection from the compressor suction and discharge ports to connect the connection, which allows the economizer to operate. 2. In this independent connection, a solenoid valve is used to allow or block the passage of refrigerant from the condenser outlet, controlling the flow rate we'll call I. 3. Subsequently, in the same connection, a thermostatic expansion valve is used to meter and control the flow we've called, coming from the condenser, and also reduce its temperature by decreasing pressure. 4. After the expansion valve of the economizer system, the use of a heat exchanger, which we'll call HX, is required to generate subcooling in the liquid refrigerant flow, denoted as M, coming from the condenser, through the traditional refrigeration cycle pipeline. 5. Subcooling of flow M is performed to significantly increase the cooling capacity of the refrigeration system. 6. The refrigerant or flow, referred to as I, at the outlet of the expansion valve in the economizer system, changes from liquid to vapor in the HX exchanger, but as it is still at a low temperature, it is injected back into the scroll compressor, providing additional cooling to the compression process. Which is especially useful in high compression ratio applications, such as freezing equipment. 7. This cycle offers numerous advantages, including greater cooling capacity and a better coefficient of performance COP, compared to conventional cycles. Vapor injection technology is particularly effective at low evaporation temperatures, where greater capacity and efficiency are required. 8. The efficiency of this cycle is superior to that of conventional single-stage scroll compressors. Improving refrigerant subcooling at the condenser outlet increases cooling capacity and cooling during compression within the scroll compressor improves overall refrigerant gas compression efficiency by resembling a two-stage compression. 9. Additionally, the vapor injection strategy allows for modulation of the compressor capacity under low thermal load conditions by cutting vapor injection, which can be used as a means of capacity regulation.